Following the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the overthrow of the Western-aligned Bavali dynasty and Tehran's foreign policy realignment away from the Western Bloc, Iran was no longer able to acquire either US-made weapons systems or parts to service existing weapons platforms. For the Iranian Air Force, which relied exclusively on US-made fighters including the third-generation F-5E Tiger II light fighter, the heavier F-4 Phantom, and elite fourth-generation F-14 heavyweight jets, this was a particularly serious situation. Western analysts widely predicted that a lack of parts would ground the entire Iranian fleet permanently within five years. The newly declared Islamic Republic, facing a large-scale invasion from neighboring Iraq just months after its formation, was forced to invest heavily in its military aviation to protect its airspace from hostile aircraft and avoid losing air superiority entirely. These investments proved successful, and Iran's American-made fighters were able to fly throughout the war and continue to form the backbone of its fleet until to this day. This provided the country with an invaluable stepping stone from which to further strengthen its military aviation industries after the war, servicing even fighters as complex and sophisticated as the F-14 as well as producing advanced indigenous weapon systems for these aircraft such as the Fokker 90 air-to-air -air missile. More recently, amid growing tensions with the Western Bloc and difficulty importing modern combat aircraft due to both political and economic constraints, Iran has invested in developing fighter jets indigenously to serve its needs. Iran's modifications to the F-5 airframe on the SEGA appear to go further than those of all other operators, and Tehran is suspected of having gained assistance from China, Russia or North Korea in developing its fighter. Iranian sources claim the SECA has fourth-generation capabilities, indicating it may have benefited from technologies reverse-engineered from the country's F-14 and MiG-29 jets which are its only post-third-generation foreign aircraft. Moreover, according to the Iranian military, the fighter has a significantly extended range compared to the original F-5 and can fly up to 3,000 km where the original was restricted to under 1,500 km. External modifications of the SECA include a twin-tail configuration similar to that of the F-18 Hornet. According to Iranian state media sources, the performance of the SECA is comparable to that of the F-18 Hornet previously fielded by the U.S. Navy. While these claims have been widely dismissed by Western sources, they could well prove to be true. The F-18A in particular was hardly a highly sophisticated platform by today's standards, and the fighters which first entered service in the U.S. Navy in 1983 are in many ways less capable than the upgraded F-5 fighters fielded by Taiwan or Thailand today. The F-18 was itself developed based on the YF-17 concept design, which was an enhanced derivative of the F-5 built for combat at a fourth-generation level. The SECA and F-18 fighters share the same origins and roles and several common design features, making them somewhat comparable platforms. Even the older F-18A and F-18C twin-engine light fighters, however, are much larger than the SECA and benefit from access to much more advanced and longer-ranged weaponry, Meaning while the jets may have comparable avionics and some similarities the newer F-18 variants are likely much more capable overall. It remains uncertain how many SECA fighters Iran ever produced, but 14 years after its first flight and apparent successor to the design, the Kosar light fighter was unveiled. The fighter appears to be being built on a larger scale, and like the SECA it is also closely based on the F-5E design. 
The COSAR is expected to provide a lighter complement to the foreign jets which Iran is expected to purchase over the coming decade, and depending on advances in Iranian radar and air-to-air -air missile technologies it could potentially evolve into a dangerous fighter on par with the F-5. Iran is reportedly also developing a much heavier fighter domestically, and although details have yet to be released it is speculated to be loosely based on the F-14. Should this more ambitious program be seen through to serial production, experience developing the SECA and COSAR is likely to play an important role in laying the ground for its success. Thank you.